Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. It's a glitter cut crease and I was inspired by Desi Perkins who was inspired by Paula Foxia on Instagram. Her name is Julie. And yeah, I'm just super happy with how this came out. Um, I posted this look on Instagram about a week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. Um, <laughs> anyways, I posted this about a week ago on Instagram and I had so many requests and questions and asking if I had a video for this and I didn't and I felt so bad because um, I was just doing my makeup like at 6 o'clock in the morning and I just felt like I wanted to do a cut crease and if it didn't work out then I wasn't going to do it. So I didn't even think about filming it and I felt so bad when so many people were asking for a video. Um, so I just want to say sorry that it took about a week to get onto YouTube and film it and everything. It's just been a hectic week for me. Um, a few things before I, wa I get started, I just want to say that I've only done cut creases, uh, like a cut crease look on myself three or four times. So this is like my fourth time doing it on myself. I've done it a couple times on my clients um, and they turn out amazing. But for me, it's just a struggle with my eyes. I have hooded eyes. I have wrinkles, just flaps on my eyes. So it hard, it's really hard to not um, crease, like, you know, all the makeup getting creasy and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just super proud of myself for actually doing this and I'm so happy that I had so much love for this look. I was so happy when you guys were just commenting and liking it. So yeah, um, just remember this is my fourth time so please don't like bash me or anything. There are some things that I know that I really still need to work on and for you at home if you need to stop and pause the video and do something um, I really suggest just watching it and then pausing it and doing it yourself and then you know if you need any if you need to go back and listen to it just do that because it's the easiest way um, to do it I feel like when I'm following tutorials if I want to learn something I that's the way that I do it um, another thing is don't be discouraged you know practice it takes time it takes a lot of practice I usually would I'll practice a look before bed or before I take a shower just so I can practice and then the next time I do it I'll feel a little bit more confident confident so um, yeah I just hope you guys find this tutorial helpful and I hope you guys can follow along I'm so sorry for this long introduction oh my god um, so yeah I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Oh, also, leave me questions down below if you want. I'm thinking about doing a Q&A for Snapchat or, I don't know, for YouTube. Just leave me questions anywhere on any of my social medias. And, yeah, it'll be in my next video or something like that. So, remember to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video Bye guys. all right so to get started i already had my eyes primed with um my concealer and it was set and it was ready to go i took mac cosmetics brown script eyeshadow and i'm taking a fluffy blending brush and i'm placing that into my crease and then I'm going to go in and take a, another blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the harsh edges and I'm going to pull it upwards a little bit towards my brow, my brow bone. So one thing that I didn't keep in mind when I was doing this was that I didn't pull the dark shade up a little bit more. Um, because I'm creating a new crease because of my hooded eyes. So if you have hooded eyes and not a natural crease, um, I would take the color a little bit higher um, than your natural crease because you're going to go above that and you're going to end up erasing the crease area. Um, and you'll see that once I start cutting the crease. So here I am going in with MAC Cosmetics Vanilla and I'm using that as my highlight. I love this color. I've been obsessed with this ever since I bought it. Um, I always use it. It's a nice, subtle 
white shimmery shadow um, that I love using and I'm also going to be using it on my lid as well. So just go ahead and place that on your lid and then blend the two shadows together. Now I'm going to cut the crease with Max Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to take my Wet n Wild concealer brush and I'm just going to place um, some product onto it and use the back of my hand to make the edges um, really thin and just squeeze. You could just use your fingers to squeeze it. It doesn't matter. I just use the back of my hand. And before I go in, I'm going to go ahead and study my eye. So you see where that, that big fold right there is, that big wrinkle? Well that's where my crease is. And since I have like a low key hooded eye, um, I'm going to go right above that area, that line right there, and I'm just going to create a crease and where that line disappears um, towards the outer third of my eye is where I'm going to go and follow the, I guess, the natural shape of my eye. So in the beginning, I'm going to create my own crease and then I'm going to connect it into my natural crease, if that makes sense. Um, another thing is, I don't know what it what it was, but anything creamy that I put onto my eye, it was just really drying to my eye. I don't know why. So if you have the same experience, you could always use your um, concealer, your liquid concealer, or your foundation, um, anything that works for you. Um, and that'll work out fine because you're just gonna end up spreading that all over your lid and placing um, a shadow on top of it. So this is where I was talking about earlier um, when I said that I would connect it back to my natural eye shape. So I just went in and felt for my brow bone and kind of just followed the shape of it and then at the end of it I went in and made a wing because I wanted my eyeliner to be parallel to my cut crease wing if that makes sense. Then I'm just going to go in with the MAC Vanilla Eyeshadow and I'm going to place that everywhere the MAC Painterly Paint Pot was placed down and that is your lid color. You just want to be careful because when you're going along that crease you don't want to go above it so you just want to take your time like I said and just, um, just go slowly and it's okay if you mess up because this right here is going to, I guess, hide the imperfection of that line if it wasn't clean enough to your liking. Um, so here I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Glitter Liner and it's the gold color. And I am just keeping most of the product onto the tip of the brush. I don't want a lot of product because then it, it could get chunky. Um, so I would just recommend going back and forth and dipping into the product and just placing the, the product onto the tip of the brush. For my lashes, I am using the Blush Lashes in the style Enchanted and I am going to take my Reveal Beauty Mini Eyelash Curler and I am going to, I guess, combine my natural lashes with the false lashes. And then here I am taking the Max Brown Script and just placing that on my lower lash line. Then off camera, I did the rest of my makeup. And for my lips, I am using the ColourPop Deeper Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I don't think that was hard. I mean, now that I'm sitting here recording it, I'm just like, wait, that's it? Like, really? Like, that was really quick. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. 
please let me know if you guys do try this at home. Tag me in it. And yeah, I'd love to see it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.